Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you guys are doing really well. Uh, now today's video is gonna be uh, about how we are gonna ride your first 50 kilometers. Now I know for some of you this is a milestone because uh, you guys keep riding 20-30 kilometers but uh, you know uh, some of them do not push it to 50 60 70 and so on so it's pretty easy i'll let you know on this ride on how you can do it at certain checkpoints before you start a ride the first thing is uh, the tire make sure you have uh, the right pressure the tire pressure uh, in those tires to make sure you do not get any sort of punctures the next thing is always carry a water bottle and uh, probably try to put in uh, you know fasten up some electrolytes which uh, which is gonna help you on these long rides and um, the most important thing always carry the puncture kit right this one so the pouch that i spoke to you about in the previous video <clears throat> so that's really important so always carry that and also download uh, an app called strava now what Strava does is it will help you in uh, you know capturing the data as to how long you've ridden, how many calories you've burnt and so on. So uh, let's get started guys. I'll uh, go ahead and stop over at 10 kilometers. I'm going to be riding this as uh, how a beginner would do. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm at the 10 kilometer mark. Uh, stop by this uh, beautiful Hebal lake and uh, you might want to get in some few sips of water <clears throat> now another thing that I wanted to tell you was uh, always carry a sipper you know which does not have uh, the lid or a cap that you have to remove and then drink uh, because you can just take a sip while riding so it's really helpful uh, so yeah, try getting one sipper. You can get a cheaper one at Decathlon, probably 200 bucks. So you know that's gonna help you a lot compared to the regular bottles. All right. So let's get going. Uh, let's not cool down because uh, your body is warm. So just continue the same way. It's 7:30 and look at the fog. Whoa. It looks like six. So still going guys, keep you updated. Okay guys, so I've just covered uh, 20 kilometers and uh, the fog today is just not going. It's too thick. Now if you look at the flyover, it's like, uh, you know, really dense fog. And uh, I still have around 30-35 uh, kilometers to do. So let's see how it goes. The electrolytes are actually helping me. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is always wear your gloves guys. Uh, God forbid if you fall, the first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to keep your palm on the ground. So I've had crashes in the past and trust me the gloves have helped me a lot. So guys, uh, I have arrived at my usual U-turn uh, point. Now, uh, this is at, uh, I think, 26, if I'm not wrong, 26 kilometers or 27 maybe. But uh, this is, well, what you see right now is the airport toll. Uh, this road goes to the Bangalore airport. So from here, usually I take a U-turn uh, that covers up, you know, once I finish the ride, I almost end up doing, uh, you know, 50 to 60 kilometers approx. So, yeah, now let me tell you about uh, what, I, what I usually do at uh, the halfway point. Now, always when you're riding, uh, usually when you're doing a long ride, try to carry this uh, protein bar uh, because it really helps, it keeps you full 
and uh, you will have that much needed nutrition you get that in uh, a lot of options these days a lot of flavors then you have electrolytes fasten up uh, you know these are tablets that you got to mix with your water and uh, this is going to help you on those long rides when you're sweating a lot you know because you'll be losing a lot of salt so this is going to be uh, your replacement another important update uh, or tip i would say is always invest in a good helmet especially if you're riding on these sort of highways it's very important for you to stay protected as much as you can i just had my protein bar i'm going to sip in the electrolytes the fasten up and uh, head back uh, now the sun is out and uh, like i said i have uh, almost 25 to 30 kilometers back home and uh, let's see if i'm hungry i'll stop for breakfast if not i'll just continue because I'll now for anyone who follows my vlog they know that this is my regular pit stop and uh, today i'm going to be stopping for uh, just probably a uh, dahi vada this place is really good for uh, you know the typical south indian breakfast like masala dosas vada idli and so on uh, but today since i had that protein bar i'm full but i had to fill up my water bottle and uh, i'll just have a small snack so yep so there you go I was bugged up with the regular uh, masala dosa, idli, vada. So some curds early in the morning. Uh, you guys can take uh, you know constant pit stops if you want. Since uh, you know this would be your first 50 km ride, take those breaks if necessary. Another important thing which I wanted to tell you guys was uh, don't focus on uh, how other people are riding. like if you have a company if they are fit let them ride you ride at your own pace that's very important so that's uh, one of the key points that came to my mind all right so that was a quick pit stop i usually take small pit stops because i don't want my body to cool down completely uh it does affect your riding so what you want to do is probably if you're tired take a short pit stop stop for a while stretch have some water and then start again but don't sit for a long time uh and probably the mistakes that i used to do initially you know when we were riding as a group chit chat a lot on the pit stops and uh you know we used to struggle later on so yeah so the grinding continues I have covered 43 kilometers. Uh, took a small pit stop uh, just to, you know, uh, get hydrated. And uh, mostly, I think I'll be doing over 50 today because uh, I still have another 12 to 15 kilometers to go. So yeah, guys, keep taking those uh, hydration breaks in between if you want, or uh, if you're good at drinking water. while riding keep doing that so yeah let's get going everything's okay on a ride unless you're hit with heavy traffic and uh, the constant honking it's really irritating when uh, people keep honking and man saturday in bangalore is really hectic no matter what time you go you will find traffic now if you don't have fast enough don't worry you can rely on this natural source called coconut water beautiful refreshment uh, loads of potassium it can help you get that uh, much required energy back so very refreshing on a ride so yeah you can have a coconut as well so uh an update that i've completed uh, 50 kilometers 52 exactly uh but i still have another uh, if i'm not wrong 3 to 4 kilometers to reach home so as you see guys it's not that tough uh you know initially you know with adequate uh, pit stops 
proper hydration uh, even you guys can do 50 60 70 so but you need to ride uh, weekly that's the challenge keep riding weekly uh, because that's important uh, if you give a long break then again for you to get back to that fitness level it takes a lot of time another very important thing on long rides is uh, you know your clothing try to wear lycra uh, a jersey that i'm wearing right now and uh, you know try wearing bib shorts or proper uh, cycling shorts with so i'm finally back home guys uh, in total i did about uh, 55 kilometers today and uh, it was a really good ride uh, except for the traffic uh, which was irritating towards the end but uh, you know comment below if you've completed your first 50 and this video uh, was helpful in any way uh, so that's about it guys if you're riding in summer make sure you're drinking a lot of water uh, if you're riding in the winter you know uh, do make sure to uh, have those uh, blinkers on your bicycle so that you're uh, you know visible wear your helmets wear your gloves and uh, like I said keep taking those pit stops in between if you feel tired uh, nothing's impossible people are doing 300 400k BRMs so doing just the 50 ride initially uh, is a piece of cake so it's just getting used to don't jump into a big ride uh, if you're a new rider start off with 10 kilometers 20 kilometers 30 40 increase it every week and you know you can see the results i bet it's gonna be easy uh, really thankful to all the people who watched the video till here and uh, if you watched it till here you know what to do uh, hit that subscribe button like the video and uh, you know i'll come back with more content like this thanks a lot guys catch you in the next video